Welcome back. I'm here with Bill Hanlon. He is the Wilkes County Director of the NC Cooperative Extension Service. How are you today? I'm doing just fine. All right. It's wonderful to have you here. Good to be here. Um, so for those who may not know what the Extension Service, Cooperative Service is, what it, what is that? Tell us what that is. We are an outreach arm of NC State University and North Carolina A&T University, and we're based in all 100 counties plus the Cherokee Indian Reservation. And our basic task is, again, educational opportunities for adults and youth. We have a 4-H, which deals with the youth component. Uh, we have family consumer, which deals with issues like obesity, um, um, proper nutrition, and things like that. And then we also deal with agriculture. I, I personally am a horticultural agent, so I deal with the fruit and vegetable growers in Wilkes County. And then we have another agent that deals with the livestock producers and row crops. All right. You guys are doing a lot of great things. We were just talking before um, about some things they had going on in Wilkes County and what um, this extension does. And every county in North Carolina has this. Every county has it. And uh, we're 100 years old. We celebrated our centennial this, this year. Awesome. So we've been around a while. Well, that is fantastic. So, bas so basically you guys, um, you know, are in each county and you are just there for the community, really. We are. We supply technology information uh, to help people improve their lives. So uh, people don't realize that uh, agriculture in particular is very technical these days. They rely a lot on things like GPS and other issues. So we help uh, get the information from the university system and then adopt it to our needs. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is wonderful. So you guys have access to some maybe the research that they do at the universities. Um, and I know we were t you were mentioning something I was like, so if we wanted to learn how to garden, we can come to you guys and you guys could help in, the, in a sense, kind of? Sure. We, uh, we help people get started in, in gardening all the time. And there's different issues. Some people want to grow their own vegetables, so we teach them how to do that. Uh, it's just whatever the consumer wants, we'll try and supply the information. But we do work closely with the researchers at the universities uh, to help maybe establish demonstration plots and things like that to help people see what the new technology looks like. Because it's so much more than just taking a seed and putting it in the ground, it right? <laughs> um, you know, you were talking about so soil samples, mm -hmm. um, maybe the elevation, especially since we're kind of up here in the mountains. Because right. um, Watauga County does have an, a, an extension, because mm -hmm. um, like we said, all um, all counties in North Carolina been, um, have this. And so anything in that matter can come in and, and figure out what we need to know to get started in right. this kind of. And that's the reason why we do have offices in different counties because your growing, growing conditions are different even from Wilkes. Mm -hmm. So I've come up and talked to master gardeners up here and I have to adapt my talks because there are certain things that we can grow in Wilkes County that that's very difficult for you guys right. to grow up here. So um, it's, it's just a, it's a very county oriented program. And so you, you guys have been focusing on local food production. We have both trying to get people interested in growing food and for commercial production and also homeowners trying to get teach them because it's becoming a lost art. A lot mm -hmm. of people are just go to the grocery store and and buy their food but we're trying to get people to try and grow their own produce, uh, establish a backyard garden or they don't even have to have a garden. They can have containers on their porch where they can grow tomatoes or something like that. Yeah. So. Uh, there's a variety of ways to grow your own food. And then maybe just kind of cutting out the middleman and, and connecting the community with the local producers and teaching, you know, the younger generation, like, your food doesn't come from a grocery store. <laughs> it comes from the ground. That's, that's something I think is really important. Yeah, and we're working to try and educate youth. We have a farm day where we bring uh, third graders in to teach them about different aspects All of right. agriculture. But it is important because it's, it is becoming a lost art. We're seeing our farmers age out. The average age of a farmer in, in North Carolina is 58 years old, close wow. to 60, and we're not seeing the young people coming in. So uh, this is a way to reintroduce agriculture and the ports of agriculture into our youth. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Now, you guys also um, have started a community garden, um, and you guys work alongside the county as well. Right. Um, so tell us a little bit about that effort and how that came about. Okay. We, uh, we had some master gardeners that were very interested in establishing a community garden, so we approached the town of Wilkesboro and said, if you have some land, we'll help set up the community garden. So they had some land. Um, uh, we have a 
approximately 50 plots that's 100 square feet that people can come and rent for $20 a year. Oh, wow. And we supply all the tools. Uh, we supply plants and seeds if they want. And we also supply uh, gardening advice. So we have master gardeners involved with that. So if anybody is growing something and they run into a problem, then we are able to help them through it. So. What a wonderful, oh my goodness, $20 for a year. Right. That is amazing. And you get fresh, you kind of pick and choose. Like mm -hmm. like for me, I would have so much zucchini. Like I would just have a, a lifetime supply of zucchini because mm -hmm. it's one of my favorites. But you you kind of, and then you can have for each season, yep. so, you know, learn what's what grows. Because isn't they got things different things grow at different yeah, times. You can have a you can have a spring garden which is what we call cool season vegetables, mm -hmm. which is things like cabbage, broccoli, the leafy greens. Mm -hmm. And those can be planted in the spring and fall because they don't tolerate heat very well. And then you have your typical summer garden, which right. is the tomato, zucchini. Things and like so that. you can go through the whole process for twenty dollars for wow, and you guys supply everything. We supply pretty much everything. Now if they want to grow something that we don't have the seeds for, they're more than welcome to grow that. But we will supply transplants uh, in the in the uh, in the summertime, so that they really don't have any other expenses out there. That is amazing. Well, congratulations on that. And I mean, how so? How has that done? Is is the the people? Is it just people maybe that their first time? Like it, you welcome all kind of experienced and non-experienced gardeners. Yeah. On the application, we ask them how much experience they have, and we have a good mix of pe beginning novice and then experts. So. Um, it's it's a good mix of people, wow. and, and uh, the master gardeners also have a garden out there, and everything they produce they donate to local food banks. So it's, that is fantastic. it's been a really nice experience. That is fantastic. Um, so once you grow the vegetables, uh, or you know whatever it is that you are producing or growing in the community garden, you can always come to you guys and learn how to can them. That's true. So tell us about that. Um, well, it's a class offered by our family consumer agent, and it's she offers it in the summer, obviously, when people are getting ready to do it. And it's it's two different types of uh, preservation. One of them is actually freezing, which you can do with many fr fruits and vegetables, and others is the actual canning process. And it goes through and teaches them how to, how to properly can so that it's safe to store. And uh, it's really been very successful. Again, that's something we've seen people get away from. Right. But now there's a really big interest on producing and preserving your own food. Absolutely. And I, I was telling you earlier, I always, growing up, spent my summers with um, with my aunt. And they had a garden, her and her husband. And um, I worked in the garden. And it was like during the summer. And it was the best thing. And we'd come inside. And I, I always saw how the process went. And I've, I've actually always wanted to know how to do all of that. Mm -hmm. um, but as we were discussing before, every fall plants die around me. So <laughs> <laughs> that's something I've got to work on. Um, right. But that is amazing. You guys are doing amazing things. Um, and I think it's wonderful that we're keeping these um, skill. Like these are skills. These are very important skills that right. play a role in our our, our livelihood you know we have to have they don't just appear in the grocery store no. and it's, it can be a little more difficult than people think um, because we have all kinds of diseases that can get on right. plants we have insect pests so what we do with the community gardeners we uh, we have an email that we send out a couple times a week and we let them know what, what we're seeing in the garden mm -hmm. potential problems and how to address those problems so all right well, that is wonderful and learn as you go and i think that's a great way to start and and start with the community garden and then get it get your feel of it and you know take advantage of the information that you guys are offering in the emails and in general and then maybe moving it to your to your backyard and who knows you might be setting up a big old booth at the right. farmer's market and I mean just well that was one of the plans was to use it as an incubator to, to see if somebody's interested in potentially growing food to sell this would give them a small plot to get their feet wet and see how they, they felt about it all right well great so tell um tell us where you, we can learn more information about you well if you go and just google Wilkes cooperative extension service it, that will take you right to our website uh, you can also go to North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service, and they have a list of all the counties. So you can access each county individually and see 
their contact information and the type of programs they have going on. All right. Well, that is fantastic. Thank you so much, Bill, for coming in and sharing this with us. You guys are doing um, really, really great things for the community of uh, Wilkes County. So um, be sure to, if you're in, if you're a Wilkes County uh, local, be sure to check it out and um, check out their website and call that there's a number as well. You can call our office at 336-651-7330. All right, and for all of you in the other counties that are watching, be sure to check out um, your county's uh, cooperative extension service right. and, um, and see how you can get involved in learning new skills. Um, so thanks again, Bill, for being here. Thank you. We'll be right back.